You're the last one. Complete the mission. Yo, what's up? It's your boy X3 Max Carl here, and welcome back, my boys, to another video, another recipe, my boys, another fucking crazy recipe, my boys. And this time we are going to do chicken breast pockets, my boys, filled with ricotta, pesto, and garlic. So here we have my boys, as you can see, the chicken chicken pockets. Chicken pockets. My boys, we're gonna close them with two picks. Here we have the ricotta. Here we have the ricotta, the garlic, and the fresh pesto, my boys. Homemade fresh pesto. That we did, my boys. Earlier this week, or last week, I did, yeah, it was last week. My boys. So it's time to start, my boys, this amazing recipe. So now, my boys, now it's time to put our fresh ricotta. And this pan, the pot, I'm going to use the pot just to mix the, the things up, but the garlic I'm going to fry, to fry it just a bit before, I'm going to remove the plastic, put it aside, then we are going to remo remove the ricotta. Fresh ricotta, my boys. Ah, oh, fuck that shit. All right, okay, not that bad. Not that bad. We're gonna wash our knife. I couldn't find another ricotta, my boy, so I bought, I bought the lactose free. There's nothing wrong with this, this, but it's just lactose free. Let's see. Oh, my boy. It's giving me that fucking nerves, my boys. Fuck that shit. Okay. Okay, my boys. What the fuck is he doing with the car? Then, my boys, we are going to pick some pesto, homemade pesto. He's getting on my fucking nerves, my boy. And we're going to do three full spoons of that. Ooh, okay. And my boys, we are going to do some vegetarian cheese, my boy, at the bottom of of that and we are going to put them in the oven when it's done yeah, we need more we need, we need more pesto my boys we need more pesto we don't have much pesto so we need more okay i think that's about right we still have some would you look at that you can make some nice fucking... What the fuck is this? How the fuck did that came there? So no, it was, that is ricotta with, with, with homemade pesto. Now it's time to fry some... We're going to cut some garlic. We're going to put that aside. We're going to put the pesto in the fridge and now we're going to cut the garlic in small pieces hi boys and mm -hmm, that's good we are going to cut them in small pieces and we are going to fry them just a bit not much hi boys we're going to throw that shit away and we are going to 
Make them like this. You can cut three at the same time. Like this, we're gonna fry them just a bit, my boys. Just to make that nice taste. I'm gonna fry them just for a few minutes, my boys. Like that. I'm gonna take the pen out. Oh my boys, but we are going to work in our kitchen just to find the pen. As you can see, we are putting some weight. We are going to make this in here. Ah. We are going to put that in here there, and let it sit for a while. Now in here, my boys, we are going to make some balsamic vinegar too. Just to make the things, the recipe spiced up. No, because it, it will be boring if it will be just plain. And just like that. Ooh. Let me taste a bit. That's fucking awesome, my boys. Now we're gonna move that. And we're gonna focus ourselves in the garlic. On the garlic. We're gonna leave it for about a few minutes, like halfway cooked. And then we are going to put it in, 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 in the ricotta with the pesto and the, uh, and the balsamic vinegar. And then my boys, we are going to fill our chicken. And before we are going to put those ingredients, we are going to put the cheddar, the vegetarian cheddar. My boys, inside. And these are going in the oven. My boy. With some water and some herbs. Let's prepare some herbs. My boys, let's prepare some. Some mint, let's prepare some, some thyme, let's prepare some curry, and that's it for the day. That's it for the day. We don't need that much, my boys, we're gonna need it halfway cooked. Just like this. Not much, my boys, just another, just another two minutes and we will be done. We're gonna take out our cheese. We're gonna bring the water, my boys. I'm gonna use the water here. Yeah. I'm gonna use the water. You see, my boys, with the water. Yes, that's it. Water. 
that's a nice has a recipe my boys filled chicken breast pouches my boys so we've got ourselves some water a bottle of water here my boys now that's enough my boys that's enough now we are going to move that away and we are going to put our garlic my boys inside the recipe That's it. We're gonna mix well. My right, boys, and now it's time to fill our chicken pockets. So now we're going to do my right, boy. As you can see, those are the chicken pockets. They are going to be filled with. We will try to put some cheese. Come on, my right, boys. Come on. I'm trying to put some cheese like this so it will it will come cheesy. My voice. So then we're going to bring a spoon, we're going to wash our hands, and then we're going to bring a spoon, <coughs> let me put, let me pull, put the cheese all in the, on, in the chicken, first, my boys. Come on, my boys. This, that boo boo. Okay, so now it's time to fill them, my boys, and close them with our toothpick. So now it's time to fill them up. Let me wash my hands another another time. Because I'm too paranoid. The chicken. Now my boys, it's time to fill them up with ricotta and spinach, like that, as you see. And then we will close them up. Let's see if they close up. So now let me use the toothpick. That shit, my boys. Let me use two picks to close that up. Just to close the chicken up, my boys. This is getting messy, my boys. I think I feel that too much, my boys. I think I feel it too much, my boys. With fucking. Yeah, this is getting messy, my boys. You can see I'm closing them up. Uh, this is getting messy, my boys. I needed to fill them more a bit less than that. That's it. Let me fill them up good. 
it. Now we're going to close them up like this. Okay. We are going to close them up like oh my boys from the side. Like that because don't forget we put we put cheese inside of the pockets. My boys. So let me see, we're gonna close them up like that. Wanna grab more toothpicks, my boys. Wash all my hands so I will put some more there. My boys, let me put some more there, and we're gonna put them in the oven. My boys, we're gonna put them in the oven. We're gonna like that. Then we're gonna do some olive oil. We're gonna do some olive oil on top of them. Sorry, my boys. We're gonna do some olive oil, and then with this, we're going to do some chips, my boys. We have some ricotta left, and some olive oil. Ooh. Would you look at that, how it will come? Oh, would you look at that? So now, it's time to put some, some mint. Some thyme. And some curry sauce. Not much, my boys, because this is hot. So some curry sauce at the sides, like that. And the final thing is the balsamic vinegar, just on top of the ingredients, that's it. And we're gonna leave them for one hour in the oven. So we'll be back with y'all with the final results. Oh my boys, as you can see, we have the chicken pockets ready my boys. We are going to pull them out. Let's see, my boys. Too many gravy went out, my boys. But don't worry, we're going to use that gravy. Ooh, nice. And it's pockets, my boy. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at that? I'm going to bring another plate. Because it's for three, three people. Twice. Now we are going for twice. And this is for my daughter. Ooh, would you look at it? And then some chips, my boys, with fried onion. Two. It's time to make the, the sound happening. Fried onion. 
My worries with potato. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do some for her. Alright. In the rest. It's going to be a little bit. Exactly, for three my boys. My fried onions, the chips, that makes my taste my boy. So this is apparently it, my boys. So this is the chicken pocket. That is the chicken pocket filled with ricotta, homemade pesto, cheese, and some garlic, my boys. So those were the final results. It's your boy, Extreme Max Kyle. I'm up. Peace! Ten David to entry team. Your mission's complete. Good job. Head back to talk.